Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick um, unboxing of a grocery haul that I, uh, a grocery, I guess, uh, store, grocery store purchases that I made at Vitacost. Straight up, this is not sponsored by Vitacost at all. It's just a online based grocery store. It has a lot of my favorite products. Um, cheaper than you would buy at the grocery store and if you get over fifty dollars your shipping is free so it is worth it um so i'm just gonna get right into it uh the first thing is the vega sport performance uh this is in vanilla this is my favorite protein powder and my roommate likes it as well even though it is vegan and neither one of us um we are not vegans uh it's probably my favorite tasting protein powder uh with only 131 calories and 26 grams of protein and they only use stevia to sweeten it. It really tastes delicious and it's normally like 65 bucks at Whole Foods but it is 15% uh, off if you get it through Vitacost and right now they actually do have a promotion for $5 off of any Vega uh, products that they have on Vitacost. Again, this isn't sponsored so I don't care but this is my favorite protein powder. Next, and I already opened this, um, I got organic cocoa nibs. Now this is a huge bag. There are 16 servings inside this. Uh, cocoa nibs are basically, um, they're vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, um, these are organic. But it's basically what chocolate's made from. So I got them to use in recipes in some of my granola bars or even in some of my oatmeal to give it a little bit of a chocolate flavor, but um, no added sugar. There's only one ingredient and it's organic cocoa nibs. So this was another um, buy that I snagged at Vitacost. Trying to find the packing slip to tell you how much they are. I will at the end. I also, and I already opened these as well, um, organic cashews. These are cheaper than other organic cashews at other places. I think that this bag might have been um, $7, which is actually about the same probably where as you would get at other places. There are eight servings, so I would recommend uh, definitely portion them out if you can. Next up, we have a fun one. Um, these are kelp noodles. You cannot get these anywhere where I am, maybe where you are, but we can't get them. We have to mail order them. So kelp noodles are kind of a fun um, Asian uh, alternative to regular noodles. Uh, they're great for salads. They're mineral-rich sea kelp, low, in, sea kelp, low in carbs, calories, fat-free, um, free of all allergens, and they are ready to eat. Um, there are six calories in a serving, so they're really like, they're basically kind of, um, I eat them with stir fries. They take up a lot of volume, not a lot of calories, and they are high in, um, you know, sea veggie nutrients. So I like to use these and I get them at Vitacost. You have to buy three bags though. Also, Brussels Bites. These are delicious if you haven't tried them yet. They have them at Whole Foods in California, but we do not have them in, um, in Boston. In them, they are Brussels sprouts, raw coconut, raw cashews, cilantro, raw pumpkin seeds, garlic, smoked paprika, chipotle, cumin, dry onion, Himalayan, crystal sea salt. They're delicious. There's only two servings in here, and I think this bag costs five or six dollars. So this is expensive. This is a splurge, but I can't get this in Boston. I can only get this um, online, so that's why I get it at Vitacost. We will move on. Um... This here, these are 100 calorie bars. I love 100 calorie bars just because they're fun to put in your bag if you're hungry, especially when I'm shooting. Uh, these are Raw Revolution and they're only 100 calories. These are uh, Spirulina Dream and they're made with uh, cashews, almonds, I think dates, uh, sunflower seeds, agave nectar. Uh, there are no, yeah, there are dates. Spirulina powder and flaxseed. So these are really good. Uh, and this was only, I believe, $7 for all of these. So that's a pretty good deal on there. I think I got two flavors. I did. The other one I got was golden cashew. I love cashew. So this is a good buy for me. Uh, moving on. Ooh, I think this is my aminos. Uh, I've been reading a lot about amino acids and how they're a good alternative to um, soy sauce. So I picked this up when I saw it. Yes, it is. So coconut aminos, so it's soy-free seasoning sauce. It's non-GMO, it's vegan, and they're just delicious. It's kind of like a healthier alternative to soy sauce. Um, and you can also, you know, spice up your meals and make them delicious. So it's raw, low glycemic, and it has 17 amino acids, minerals, vitamins, in a neutral pH. Five calories in a teaspoon. Kind of an experiment, we'll see how it goes. 
Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, we have my Go Raw Ginger Snap Cookies. I love these. They have 120 milligrams of omega-6 fatty acids, which are awesome. Uh, 200 milligrams of potassium, low sodium. These are delicious. They're raw. They have the ingredients listed right on the front, as you can see right there. These are delicious. Again, something else that I already opened. Uh, this is organic raw trail mix. The only things in here are actually um, mulberries. Uh, what is it? It's not even not Mulberry, goji berries, and golden berries. I hate golden berries. I didn't know that they were in here. But I, I already bought it, so I gotta, I gotta eat them. Or maybe it's mulberries that I hate. These are the ones that I hate. They're like the tartest thing ever. Blech. Blech. All right. Ooh, this was a fun one that I got. Quinoa with vegetables, pearly. So this is quinoa, and it has like seasonings already in it. Rumi hates uh, quinoa, and so I've been trying to make it taste good because I really like it and so I got this it's pre-washed quinoa so you don't have to wash it and then it has dried vegetables carrots potatoes red bell peppers toasted onions raisins didn't know it had raisins in it herbs spices and salt interesting I'm excited to try this but I didn't realize there were raisins in it I'm all for raisins but I didn't expect that we have two more to go this here is I've forgotten what I ordered this is a long video, so if you're still watching. Oh, olives. These are organic pitted olives, and I think I just got these because I wanted the free shipping. So these were rounding up to get the free shipping. Obviously, I, I got the free shipping, but I wanted those. So you can get organic products. So if you live somewhere that doesn't have any organic products, you can um, still get them by getting them delivered. And unboxing the last product in here is I think it's coconut mana 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 it's like coconut butter I've never had um, I've purchased coconut butter before but this is a new um, a new brand this is Nutivia I read that it tasted better than the one that I had been the artisanal one I've been getting so I figured I would try it but here's coconut butter I'm pretty addicted to coconut butter. Um, it's really good. Uh, you can use it um, as an oil replacement. You can put it in your oatmeal. You can put it in your smoothies. Honestly, I like to just have a spoonful of it sometimes. It's really sweet. Um, naturally, there's no sugar in it. Uh, and yeah, so I'll let you guys know how this tastes. But it's just basically pureed coconut. It's not coconut oil. It's like the actual like meat of the coconut. So that is my unboxing of my VitaCost haul. Um, oh, and here I have my prices finally down here. So if you're curious what they were, let's see. The kelp noodles each were $3.99. The Go Raw Spirulina, these cookies were $4.99. Oh, nope, not that, that one. These were $4.19. Uh, these bites were $5.49. My olives were $4.59. My coconut aminos right here. Coconut aminos. These were $5.19. My trail mix was $5.39. My quinoa was $5.39. This one right here. My cashews were $8.09, but they were organic, so they're going to be a little bit more expensive. The ones that I usually get at Trader Joe's are not organic, and they're the same price. Uh, the coconut mana was eight sixty nine. The one that I get at at Whole Foods is usually like fourteen, so that's cheaper. That's like the same price as I when I buy it at uh, Marshalls. And yes, I do buy it. Coconut nibs, cocoa nibs were eleven sixty nine. But this is a huge bag of cocoa nibs. It's it's enormous. This is gonna last. There it says there's sixteen servings, but it will last me longer than that. Um, the Raw Revolution bars, they were $12.80 per thing, but there's 20 bars in there, so that's that's pretty good. And the Vega was $50, but if you guys were to buy it, you'd get the extra $5 off. So that is my unboxing haul, um, under 10 minutes, yes. And uh, hopefully you guys like this. Check out my other hauls, and I'll see you soon.